lecture six, we're going to get into a much deeper level of grammar. Learning will or going to present perfect, past perfect, and modal verbs. Please try to memorize those verbs to be able to speak and write correctly. You will find a long list of all the subjects under resources. Will and going to. You can use both when speaking about the future, but usually you will use will when using dates and going to when planning something. What are you going to do next month? Do you have any plans? That's the future. The child. I am tired. The mother. Can I will prepare you bed right away? It's a reaction. I will complete my book by the end of next week, I swear to you. That is a promise. What do you think she's going to take next semester? That's future. She promised me she will be here for my birthday. Promise. Do you know what you're going to become if you eat like this? Intention. I love this city. I will live here for the rest of my life. Future prediction. I've been really low. I'm going to become a lawyer. Future. Please go and practice the exercises for this lesson. Now we're going to learn present perfect, which is to form present perfect, you need to the verb have. And the verb that determines the action, such a verb, must be a past participle verb. Uh, let's see. Have in present tense is I have, you have, he has, she has, they have, we have. The action verb is in past participle. And you have a list to look over. Gone, forgo, read, read, read walk, walked, uh, be, been, write, written, see, seen. Here you have a list of infinite verbs, past and the past participle. Remember, past participle you will only use with past perfect or present perfect. Be was where and then it's been, become, became, become, do, did, done, go, went, gone, drink, drunk, drunk, eat, ate, eaten, fall, fell, fallen, get, got, gotten, made, 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 run, ran, run, see, so, seen, steal, stole, stolen. Tell, told, told, right, wrote, written. Some don't change, but you need to learn them all. Let's practice present perfect with questions and answers. Have you read this book? Yes, I have read that book. No, I have not. Has she seen the dress? Yes, she has seen the dress. No, she has not. Where have you been? I have been here. I have not been here. What has he bought? He has bought many apples. He has not bought anything. Have you written the letter? Yes, I have written the letter. No, I have not written the letter yet. What have they stolen? They have stolen all the money. They have not stolen the money. Have you learned the lesson? She has learned the lesson. She has not learned the lesson. Have you fed the cat? Yes, I have fed the cat. No, I have not fed the cat. Where have they gone? They have gone to the country. They have not gone to the country. Has he found the robber? Yes, he has found the robber. No, he has not found the robber. Have they discovered a star? Yes, they have discovered a star. No, they have not discovered a star. Now we are going to learn and practice past perfect. You form past perfect with the past of have plus the participle of a verb. 
you use past perfect to explain something that had happened before something in past simple occurred. For instance, I had finished my test when my teacher called me. My teacher called me is past simple, but past perfect is the explanation of what happened before she called me. I had finished my test. Examples. I had worked all day when she arrived. I had studied for hours. I knew I would pass the test. The children had played for hours, so they went to sleep right away. They had canceled my trip without telling me. The lady woke up very frightened because she had had a nightmare. He had just come back from the theater when the rain started. We had played tennis for three hours when they asked us to leave. I had waited for 40 minutes when I realized I was in the wrong place. They closed the store where she had worked for many years. Questions and answers. For how long had the pianist played when the crowd started applauding? The pianist had played for two minutes when the crowd started applauding. Where had you gone when he arrived at the church? I had gone for a walk to think about the wedding. How long had you worked at the company when they fired you? I had worked for 10 years when they fired me. What had you done with dinner for him to get upset? I forgot he was a vegetarian and I had cooked meat for dinner. How many cups of coffee had she drunk before the interview? She had not drunk any coffee. She was just nervous. Modal verbs. When using modal verbs, please do not use to, nor does, nor did. The verb can. Can means physical ability to understand or do something. I can read. She can run fast. We can see the mountain from here. They can lift heavy boxes. Also as a possibility, something can happen. It can happen to you. I can blame you for that. She can afford that house. Use for permission. Can I see the doctor now? You can leave now. Can I tell you the truth? Contractions. To form contractions, we just join, cannot all together. That's one way, and the other is can, apostrophe, T. I can't read a book because the letters are tiny. She can't finish the lecture without the microphone. He can't lift a car with his hands. I can't speak German. He can't sing very well. Interrogative, positive and negative. Can I? Yes, you can. No, you cannot or can't. Can you? Yes, I can. No, I can't. I cannot or I can't. Can he? Yes, he can. No, he cannot. He can't. Could. Could is pass of can. I could play the piano when I was six. You could not speak English last year. Possibility. I could travel soon. You could borrow the money to buy that. I could tell you, but you must promise me not to tell. Request. Could you please open the door for me? Could I see you tonight? Sentences, interrogative, positive, and negative. Could you help me? I could help you. No, I could not help you. Could he mind? Yes, he could. No, he could not mind. Could I tell you? Yes, I could tell you. No, I could not tell you. Contractions. No, I couldn't. No, he couldn't. This is the end of lecture six. Please continue to lecture seven.